Stereotypes are the backbone of Nollywood. It's like Romeo to Juliet, like police to thief, like social media feminists to Twitter. They need each other to survive. When people talk about the early age of Nollywood, they think of roses, they think of love, they think of Tony Umez being possessed again. But what if I told you that the first Nollywood movie to get a significant amount of recognition was living in bondage, and after that, a big bang happened? With this opportunity, we had a chance to finally tell our stories and not what the Western world wants to see. So we made more movies with Juju. Pop, 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 pop. This first era of Nollywood can be considered as the destroy Igbo's era. It painted Igbo's as the worst set of people. Your brother has more money than you. Use him for rituals, man. His wife is still alive. Marry her, man. His kids are alive also. What? Don't they know what era this is? Kill them, man. This had a negative impact on Ibus, but don't worry, this is Nollywood. Everyone gets smoked. But back then, this was huge for us because Nigerians only watched Rambo. And that guy could swallow bullets, man. But for most Nigerians, this was what entertainment looked like. So seeing Nigerians on the big screen was good. The love era came and everyone loved it. This was the peak of misogyny. If you were a single woman, you needed a man. If you were a slave, you needed a prince. If by chance you were a princess, your father would hate you so much that until you had a husband, no one will ever acknowledge you. Oh, <laughs> if you had a child out of wedlock, you have just unlocked level eight of hardship and loneliness. This era did not come without mysteries. The biggest mystery back then was, did this lady ever Ever kiss a man. The comedy era was awesome. We needed this to stand out from the crowd, and trust me, we did it so well. Until the part two came. You see, these guys will remain the pioneers of comedy in Nigeria because even until now, jokes with them are still used on social media. But after part one, the movies went like this. And it's so crazy how after the first part, every funny character got this life transformation that was so different from their original character traits that I had to check the back of the CD if I was still watching the same movie. The cult era dealt with us severely. And if you think I'm lying, ask anyone that wanted to go to uni in the early 2000s. They will say this, oh damn, I hope no cultist will beat me up because his girlfriend loves my dad. Social media era can be classified as the bad era for the viewers, mostly because a lot of people think the directors are using them to sell more tickets. And in some instances, the viewers say the new movies does not have our core values that we have come to love from Nollywood. <clears throat> core values. But what kind of movies do you want to see? And if you call a western movie, you have failed. No film industry copies. Koreans are still taking five days to just touch lips. Indians are still dancing till date. No one changed. Don't get me wrong. Those era of movies were awesome. It had fantastic actors that sold their roles so well. But what is our core value? The issue with new movies is they are catering to the audience. And that's fine. But when I see so much flack put on social media, the actors, I get confused because we cost this. Yes, you and me. I want to spark up a conversation with everyone. I know Iroko Critic <laughs> will attack me for this. So bring it on, man. At the end, ask yourself this question. Were we ever good? And why did she not kiss any man? It ain't about the spotlight. Started from the bottom, now we're godlike. This is how we choose to live. We all Thank you guys for watching and supporting me. Thank you to all my Patreons. Um, if you want to be a Patreon, the link is in the description. <laughs> The description guys it helps me out a lot it helps the channel out a lot so it will be lovely if you have money and you want to give me that would be awesome i'm sure i've taken a long time to come back surely 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 more videos will be coming get ready that's all i have to say my podcast to explain why i took a long break um so yeah thank you guys for watching liking subscribing i truly appreciate you oh yeah please also like the video if you got to this point please it helps out a lot if you my shiny bear wa ne kwa fi agile wa ono ma me lope guy se le wa yeah hands in the air get on the floor three black birds they sitting on the wall they watching everybody now they watching everybody.